This is not a financial advice. The question is whether the Fed can stop the inflation and how much time is it going to take. So the Fed has answered this question for himself and he has said that inflation might take for about uh, two years. But for ourselves, we need to remember that when we say that inflation is going to take for about two years, this does not mean necessarily that for these whole two years inflation will stay at the rate of 8-9% and then suddenly drop after two years. We might have bumps, ups in the inflation, maybe even higher than 9% and we might have lows, maybe 3% during this period. And the Fed will increase for the upcoming months the interest rate in the next month probably 0.75% or 75 base points and the inflation is due to get lower and lower although as we note the 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 time horizon for actually decreasing the the inflation is about two years and this means a lot of things. This means it, it's going to have an effect on assets. This means that we are going to live with higher interest rate. Unless there is going to be some crash and then the Fed will ask itself, okay, at this point, am I con continuing to rise? Am I co continuing to keep the interest rate high? Or am I going to lower them? If the Fed will stop hiking the interest rate, and the dollar will top with not continuing to grow because right now the dollar is growing with relation to other currencies because the interest rate is getting higher. People want to have the dollar in order to invest in something that has a high interest rate like US bonds. And so the dollar is growing with relation to other currencies. If the Fed will stop hiking the interest rate and the dollar will top, then people will tell themselves, hey, uh, it stopped hiking interest rate, although the inflation is going higher. I don't believe him anymore. Therefore, they are going to move to the, there is an option. It's of, of course not true. But when people basically stop believing that the Fed will be able to reduce the inflation, either because it can't, because it tries and it can't, or because it just stop raising the interest rate or getting it lower due to a crash, then people might move to some other assets which say they don't believe it. Which other assets? Such as gold. So gold has reduced its uh, pricing from $2,000 to an ounce to $1,600 to an ounce. And everyone were in the past saying, okay, gold is uh, good for inflation periods. Uh, we can use it as another asset uh, we have stocks, we have bonds and we can also put in gold. So in cases the stock market will not do well, then gold will do well. And in the recent couple of months, we've seen that gold crash just like the stock market. So basically, the consensus is that gold crashed with the stock market because People right now believe the Fed that he would be able to reduce the, the, the inflation. But when people stop believing, when people disbelieve them, they, they will look for uh, these assets. This does not mean that someone that held gold, bonds, stocks in the recent year didn't uh, uh, have a well-balanced portfolio he had and maybe also bitcoin so gold is a part of the the commodities because we have the the stocks and we also have some other assets such as real estate and the commodities the commodities such as uh, may, maybe less gold but other ones such as uh, copper and lithium which are required for electric cars, then you can say, tell yourself, yes, but if, if so many people need now electric cars, or in future, maybe I should invest in copper and in lithium, which are required for electric cars. Answer is, of course, as always, maybe, 
it sounds like a good idea. The main problem with commodities is that they spike. They they they, they spike high and low, and uh, and uh, it's 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 terrifying. So if someone even if he made a high choice with commodities with lithium and and uh, copper for the future for in the next 10 years he will see such highs and such lows that he will get afraid and get out of this but this can be also a good option because electric cars do need a lot of copper and they do need a lot of lithium also with commodities and uh, there is this issue that it takes time it takes time to drill for oil it takes time to drill for lithium so uh, uh, we see the effects in the future because if now nobody wants to drill oil nobody wants to invest in oil then we see the effect in future in 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 in, in that we would not have enough oil so i don't see how assuming we are going to have the same uh, requirement for oil as today uh, if if we don't invest enough, if we're not going to invest enough in drilling for oil, then we are not going to have enough. So basically, as we said, nobody knows. The best thing is, in general, as everyone recommends, to diversify, to continuously invest, to try not and predict the market, and to look forward. There is no... Because basically the, the the unlogical thing about investing is that the more you think about it, then the less chances you have for success. Basically, we should do the dumbest thing. And this is not how other things in life are going. In other things in life, the, the more you invest, the more you research it, the more you read it, the more you think about it, you increase your chances of succeeding but in investing, this is the reverse. The more we think about it, the more we, we try to do operations, the less successful we are. Basically, the, the, dumb, the best thing we could do is give a monkey some, some, some money and tell it to invest uh, in, in some places randomly every month, if we can save every month, and this would be the best strategy. So... We need not think that much about investing. We should just let things be automatic and forget about it as much as we can. Uh, it's a little bit reverse to how we think about daily things where we know that if we think about them more, if we try to analyze them more, then our results would get better.